Wow, that was a little crazy excited. I'm sorry, I just sitting here rocking out, waiting till four or five, and it's 5.01, and I'm like, ah! Anyway, I'm here. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I hope you had just a fantastic Easter. We had, ooh, should I go, ooh, I'm gonna go with bright, not crazy bright. Um, we had a lovely weekend. Um, Ella and her boyfriend were here. Ooh, I think I went outside the lines again. Gosh. Maybe talking and putting lip gloss on is not what I should do. Anyway. <laughs> um, so I'm super, super excited that, that they were here. I think I told you she got a job. So that's very exciting. And she's going to be living close by. So I'm super excited about that. Sherry Pyre, it's 85 there. Oh my gosh, you little stinker. It is like, well, it says it's 50, but it feels like about 30 here today because it's rainy and cold and blustery. So I put on my snuggly sweater and um, I hope you're sweating. <laughs> I would love to come visit. Sherry, can you get me through the next two months? <laughs> so you guys, there's a lot to talk about. <clears throat> so last week was quite a week here at the Rico household. So Carl ran his like insanely best run race ever. Um, it was only the second time he's run this race. Two times he's run it and he is currently got the third fastest time in the whole state, the seventh fastest time in his school history, and he comes from a team that specializes in the event that he's doing, hence he's never run it before now. It was his 18th birthday on Friday. He's gotten more recruiting calls. So we are not narrowing our school search. We're widening it. Bah! So we're driving. Are you guys ready for this? Up to Fargo. Fargo! To visit NDSU, North Dakota State um, University. And... Um, we're so we're doing that this week. Then next week, we're going to visit another school if he can set it up. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's really crazy. So things are getting busier here, like a lot busier. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I hope I can just get through it all. <laughs> Anyway, it is so great to see all of you guys. Um, I really hope that you had a wonderful Easter weekend. Um, wherever you were, it's just so wonderful. Oh, Melissa, you're so sweet. I think we're going to, on our way up, we're going to hit Minneapolis around um, rush hour. So I think we're going to like bypass it and take 90, 90 over to 29 and go up that way. Um, but on the way down, we're probably going to stay with my sister um, on the way home to break up the drive because, oh my gosh, it's so far. Um, you know what? Actually, if he went to NDSU, it's that is way less painful for me than if he went to Montana or Washington um, because my family lives. I have lots of family in Minneapolis. I know lots of people in Minneapolis. And he could come to Minneapolis and we could meet him there and then it wouldn't be quite so far. Um, or if he needed to, like, get some family loving and needed just a quick weekend, he could visit my sister, who we're pretty close to. Um, and my niece goes to school up there. So all of that being said is not so bad. I went to school at Concordia in Moorhead, which is just across the river from Fargo. So I kind of know the area. Granted, I haven't been there for a little while, like a lot. But, oh my gosh, just so many, so many things are happening. 
Um, but other than that, we're doing well. I'm so excited for Ella having a job because that was, she was getting worried and I'm thinking, yeah, I didn't have a job lined up before I graduated, but it's a different time. Um, and she's very, very, very excited about it. So if you guys remember, if you've been watching me a long time, you know, she used to be in robotics and she's like, mom, it's going to be like I'm in robotics again. So the company she works for is, is a small. I think it's a pretty small company, but they contract work out for Rockwell Collins and uh, I can never remember what it's called. It's Blue Something. It's Jeff Bezos's SpaceX competi competitor type company. It's called Blue Earth or Blue something. Anyway, that they do work for that company. So she's very excited about that. And I have to giggle. Who was I talking to? They were like, I give it a week. Um, from the time she graduates to the time she's engaged. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm sure that's coming. So um, she she is really excited um, and also nervous. She's like, I'm really excited to, to be done with college, but I also kind of like the safety of college. And I said, well, you're ready to move on. It'll be fine. <laughs> So I think all of that is very exciting. A lot, a lot, a lot of um, changes coming our way, right? Blue Horizon, maybe that's right. Yeah, that could be it. That's not the company she works for. They just do work for that company. So at any rate, um, it is super, super exciting to have her getting employed and having Carl um, have a really, really, this is literally the race he ran. And actually you guys, can I just quick, quick tell you, cause this is just so sweet. Um, so he's been working super hard to get this, to hit a certain time and <coughs> blue origin, that might be right too, but actually, isn't that like pet food? <laughs> I don't know. There is a blue something pet food. Don't you love how I'm so keyed into this? Um, anyway, so Carl's working on, the, on hitting, reaching this specific time. And he was trying to do it on an indoor track. And that's a little tougher just because there's a lot more curves in an indoor track because it's a shorter track. So his meet thurs, this past Thursday was his first outdoor meet. And, um, and so he had talked to two other guys he was running against that he knew they would be similar times. And so they arranged, just the little three of them, they worked on putting um, together a plan so that all three of them would hit this standard. And I think two of them did and one was just like a second off. So he's super duper close. And the time is so that they qualify for the Drake Relays. And, or the, it's called the Drake Relays, but it's not just relays, it's regular run, races as well. At any rate, so they work together th from three different teams to hit this time and they did it. Um, at least the first two guys did. I think that second, that third guy was really, really, really close, but it was so exciting. And then he had another race after that um, but it wasn't, it was like in a couple hours later. So I had to laugh because um, we left the meat to feed the dogs and let them out and then come back. This was, by the way, in our hometown. So it was his home meat. And <clears throat> when we were um, coming back, we had parents night or senior night, pardon me, not parents night, senior night. As a parent of a senior, we went, we were there for that. Anyway, um, and I have a really cute picture I'll share with you that someone else took. I just got it um, today, but it was a really sweet picture of us. And so he said that when he was warming up for his next race, which was immediately after the senior night or, um, little thing, he was, he's like, I was more, he goes, I was warming up and I was like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> like his body, I think there's so much adrenaline um, and he just wasn't feeling super good about it. <laughs> and so he said his second race was a little rough, but he still won. <laughs> so that was pretty exciting. And I think he ran against at least one of the guys that was in his first race. So I thought that was kind of sweet. But anyway, I just thought it was so cool that these guys worked together 
to um to to get to reach their goal in different schools you know i mean usually you know not that your other schools are the enemy or anything but that it's just that they're you know your competitors but i i thought it was really sweet it was kind of like a a happy story of the digital age <laughs> <laughs> Generally speaking, I find social media to be awful, but um, in this case, it was really good for teenagers, by the way, sometimes for adults, but for teenagers. So I don't know. I just was a proud mom that he put all this together and, and made it all happen. So anyway, <clears throat> so today we've got some fun things to talk about. First, um, I've got some great projects for us. I also have a bundle to give away for our challenge um, or our card challenge from March. And then I'm going to issue a new challenge for April um, today. And that'll be the first card we make, which actually I have to change the order of my card stock because it's not in my pile as the first card, but it will be there. Um, and then I've got a new class and a new uh, sunshine and rainbows, or I'm sorry, a sunshine and creativity delivered box. Um, I also have coming up um, a couple of new things that are going to be very exciting. One of which is my watercolor stamp camp, though it's going to be called a, something a little something else, but it's going to be a little different this year year based on feedback. So I don't quite have it ready, but we've already been working behind the scenes to get things going, which I'm very excited about. Um, my husband has been helping me. So we're going to have some fun little things that he are making. Um, and then of course, I also have the In Color Club coming. And what's super exciting about all of these things is that um, they just really kind of have me invigorated for all the new all the new catalog stuff. Now tomorrow is the pre-order goes live for um, for demonstrators. And if you're interested in joining Stampin' Up, your starter kit can be items from the pre-order, which is pretty exciting. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a little bit. But I love that we can pre-order um, items, or, or I'm sorry, if you want to join, you can use pre-order items in your starter kit. So that's pretty awesome. Also, um, I have a free card kit for you today featuring our projects, which are super cute. And I think you're going to really love them. Um, they're, they're, I would say they're simple, yet they have really sweet touches to them that make them not, maybe not wow per se, but not just plain old boring cards, if you will. I hope that makes sense. You'll see as we get going. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm going to flip. Oh, there's one more thing. Um, we have, I did a video like two weeks ago, I think, when the discontinued list came out, the, re the last chance list. And there's a whole bunch of things that are going to be um, discounted. I just want to remind you those discounts don't start until April 9th. So I think that's a week from now. Oh, my calendar's still on March. Um, it's a week from today, tomorrow. Tomorrow? I think tomorrow. <laughs> Do you like how I'm having a little hard, a little bit of a hard time getting the math done in my head? Um, but the, those discounts are going to start on April 9th. And if there are things that you want, I that you like just have to re just have to have. I would recommend getting them sooner, um, especially. But it is um, it is while well supplies last from now on. So make sure if there's something you really want to get it. For example, the Parakeet Party refill is already sold out. Um, so I would get the other in colors if you're interested. And then also, um, I saw Vellum has sold out, the A Block has sold out, and the um, 
thick vanilla cardstock. And yes, those three inch um, envelopes are gone as well. So things do tend to sell out pretty quickly. Um, especially now, if there are huge discounts, that means that they have a lot of them, but it also means that they might sell really quickly. So I just want buyer beware so that you know. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who are looking for catalogs, the demonstrator copies of catalogs have been mailed. I got mine today in here in Iowa. Um, and so they're, I know they're popping up all over the country. But if you don't have yours yet, please know it'll be coming. Now, if you're a customer of mine, I have sent catalogs out to my customers. Those will be shipping shortly. So if you are a customer, please know that those catalogs are not the ones we're talking about right now. We're talking about demonstrator copies of catalogs, just so you know. Um, but if, if you qualified for a catalog with me, uh, yours is getting shipped so, yay. All right, um, let's see. I'm going to flip my camera. I'm going to share a few projects, and then we're going to get started. And um, I'm going to also do my drawing. So I'm excited about that. I've got a lovely little bundle to give away today, so that should be fun. All right, so I'm going to flip my camera. I actually have two choices for the bundle, by the way. So if you are the winner, you have a couple of choices. Also, if you are the winner and you're from another country, please know I cannot send you um, any products from Stampin' Up. That is a Stampin' Up rule, not a Dina rule, um, but I will give you a PDF from my PDF store. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna flip my camera. Oh my gosh, I do this every time. They changed where the flip your camera little thing is and I keep um doing the I almost can't like stop the video I'm like ah okay <clears throat> so first off um thank you so much for for being here today um it is fun to have you all here especially those of you who don't always make it on a Monday I see you I see that you're here today so that's so awesome thank you again for joining us um a reminder that I have um, a free card kit for today's projects for um, orders of $35 or more in my online store. This is now until next Sunday, which I don't have the date of what that is. I think that would be the 7th, right? Today's the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, yes, till the 7th. Um, and then also, if you spend $50, you're going to get the All-Star Video Class PDF, which we have a brand new one, which just um, dropped today, called Nature's Sweetness. Now, you can get this PDF for $15 if you'd prefer, or free with a $50 purchase in my online store. It has 12 video tutorials, including photos, dimensions in both English and metric units if you have you know I call it metric paper I don't know what it's called maybe a4 paper is what that is called but anyway it's all you know it's all good um and then if you spend $75 you'll get all of this plus an embellishment that's going to go with the projects we make today which this week is the four tinsel gems four pack and they coordinate lovely with our projects okay so please use my brand new host code by the way this is on my blog and then all of this information will be on my blog tomorrow it might be the march stuff in my video description right now as i am live but once the recording hits i will update it um because i just realized i didn't do that before i hit the start button so sorry about that okay um also we have a new online class that is just coming out i will be sending the email for this shortly it is my class with my besties barb and kelly we are featuring the everyday details bundle which is a really great one this one will continue to be available in the upcoming catalog just not at the bundle price so if you don't have it this is a great time to get it and we're going to make some really fantastic projects we actually finalized all those details this morning and i'm pretty excited about it so this is a really lovely um stamp set and the dies are really fun too we're going to show you some fun things you can do with these fun like edge pieces as well as and of course the shapes as well it's a really good set of dies so i recommend it 
All right. Um, and then last but not least, my Sunshine and Creativity Delivered box that you subscribe for in April and will ship in May is going to feature my favorite new catalog things. I have it narrowed down to like two different options and I can't quite decide yet, but I'm, I'm almost there. But it will be my favorite things. Actually, I'm pretty sure I know what it's going to be. And I bet a lot of you probably do too. Anyway, I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. It's going to be a really great kit. So I highly recommend getting that. Um, if you aren't already a subscriber, please join us because you will not be disappointed. It's probably going to be our best kit yet. I'm just going to throw that out there for you. Okay, so I would love to have you join us for that. You can subscribe with the link that's in the description of this video. It doesn't change um, ever. So there you go. All right, next up, let's take a look at some cards that came in my mailbox that I would love to share with you as well as we'll do our drawing next. So first of all, I got this fun card. This is from um, Francie, who's on my team, bless her heart. And she made this super cute card with a little note um, for something I sent her. She does uh, the birthday list on my team Facebook group. So I really appreciate her help. Look at this pretty card. This is so cute. This is a lovely, lovely Easter card that I received in the mail. And ooh, who's this from? Oh, Sandy T. She is just the best. Um, this She is on my team, and I just love this card so much. I had no idea that I would like uh, Granny Apple Green and Soft Sea Foam together, but man, that just works. This is just such a fun card. So thank you so much, Sandy. I appreciate it. Um, this is a beautiful card with some of the paper pumpkin goodies that Terry sent. And bless your heart, Terry. You're so sweet when you think of me on holidays. I, I really appreciate that. Isn't this gorgeous? She is a really great stamper. Um, then I got this card. This was actually a great segue into our um, drawing because this is a card that was made for the drawing. This is from Susan, who I think Susan must have won our challenge. She won something and I sent her this bundle. <laughs> I'm giggling because she made this card for for um, our card challenge, but she won. I, she must have won our last month's challenge or she won something that I sent her a bundle for. Or maybe it was for, I don't know. I sent her a bundle. I can't remember exactly what it was for but isn't this just like the best card this was our card challenge card for March and their friends are some really wonderful samples so if you haven't checked them out make sure and take a look at the stamping with the creativity cave Facebook group because that's where they're all featured the all the entries and there were really great entries you guys did a great job with this month's challenge and I have all of these people who are entered into our challenge. So um, I've got Christy Hillock. I've got Deborah Norris, Christine Blackburn, Debbie Lindauer, Diana Ma Mar. I think I'm saying that right, Diana. I'm sorry if I'm not. Deb Norman, Anna Rebidow, Rebidow, <laughs> Janine Thielen, uh, Shanna Lloyds. Ooh, I almost dropped my mug. That would have been bad. Okay, then I've got Mary Bauer, Christine Nolte. Ooh, did I say her name twice? I don't think so. Oh, it was, that was somebody else. Uh, Catherine Brown, Joanne Prosser, Sherry Jeffries, Mary Schneck, Susan Mises. Am I saying that right, Susan? I hope so. Tiffany Navin, Eileen Byrne, Jean Maxwell, she is like an all-star. She's won a couple times. Julie Carlisle and Margaret Burkett. So all of our tickets are in my friend's mug. The best mug ever. <laughs> and the winner is Shanna Lloyd. Congratulations to you, my dear. So you have the choice between this bundle, which is the flower cart bundle, or um, 
the Magnolia bundle, which I'm looking for because I thought I had it handy to share. Do I? Yes, the Magnolia bundle. So let me know which one you would like, Miss Shanna. And, um, and we will send this to you. Will you throw, I know I have your emailing address, but will you just throw it in the email to make it easy? Um, letting me know which set you'd like. So congrats to you. Now we've got a new challenge this month um, for people who would like to participate. And it's a little bit different. It's not a fun fold this time, but it is a really cute card, if I can just say. And it's a card layout. So I'll um, list all the pieces and then you can create your own version of it and then share it with us um, under the challenge graphic, which will be posted tomorrow, okay? So we're gonna start um, with, by the way, this week we are working with the Sweetly Scripted stamp set. This is part of the online exclusives. It was unavailable for a little bit because it's sold out really well, um, but it's back in stock and it is a really fun set. I love this one. Um, and I'm also going to be using on one of our cards the Drizzling Droplets background stamp, which I think is pretty cute. Also an online exclusive, as well as just one more online exclusive. It is, let's see, I thought I kept, but maybe not. Um, ba -ba -ba. Maybe I don't have it. Um, well... I'll find it. I'm using the embossing folder. Here's one of them. It's a little set of two folders that um, are part of the online exclusive. Oh, here we go. The um, fun patterns. And so there's two different patterns and it's one of those skinny kind. So there's two of these in the set. And we're going to be using those today as well. Okay, so let me start off by showing you our first card. Now, I took a piece of Azure Afternoon cardstock and I embossed that uh, one of those folders right through the middle of this. And I'm just going to fold this in half. Give it a good score with my bone folder like that. And you can see that design goes right through the middle, which is just so pretty. Okay, so step one is to... Um, emboss your half sheet of cardstock. So this is our card challenge. I'm going to turn it this way. So this is the April. Also, can anyone handle it's today's April Fool's Day slash it's April? How did that happen? Stamping with the Creativity Cave. C-R-Oops, E-A-T. I can't even spell my own website. C-R-E-A-T-I-V-I-T-Y Cave. Facebook challenge. Okay, so we're going to start with a half a sheet of cardstock and then we're going to emboss the center. Now, if you don't have a thin embossing folder, just cut a strip that I would say is roughly three and a half inches and emboss the emboss that if that, you know, if, if that's what you need. Okay, then we're also going to need a, um, I think this is three inches, but let me double check. Yes, a three by four and a quarter, well, I'm going to say three by four inch piece of cardstock. And then we're going to make it a flag. So flag it. <laughs> or you might also like the term banner it. <laughs> either one <clears throat> okay um sorry there's a whole conversation about the pre-order list it's not posted yet okay it'll be uh, tomorrow. All right, so I'm going to trim this paper down because I didn't actually trim it to size. So I'm cutting this three by four. Now I also need a 
three by four inch piece of designer series paper as well. Okay, so three by four inch DSP. We're not going to flag that piece. <laughs> All right, and then you need a strip um, for your sentiment. Okay, so these are the dimensions of our card. Now let's put our card together. So I've got this three by four inch piece and we're gonna quote banner it or flag it. And the way you do that is you just take and put a little snip. I'm gonna do about a half of an inch kind of in the center. You can see I measured that super carefully. I hope you can hear the sarcasm in my still slightly nasally voice. And then I'll go from the corner to that point that I did in the center. And that is my flag. Okay. So um, I just love the look of this. Now, if you want to get fancy, and let's be honest, we can all be kind of fancy from time to time. Take your bone folder and just give it a little curl. Now this is a big piece of paper, so it's a little harder to do. Another way you could do it is hold it and then like pull your paper up. So that also will curl it, but that just gives it a little dimension. I know when you put it in the mail, it's just gonna go away, but it's all right. Okay, so I'm gonna put this piece right in the center of my card like so and by the way this is poppy parade and then the designer series paper that i'm using is from this pack which is masterfully made okay this is wonderful designer series paper and if i'm not mistaken it was on the um, discounted list for the discontinued list okay so I've got that on, and then I'm going to add my DSP right over the top. Now, why do I like this size of DSP? One, it cuts evenly out of a 12 by 12 piece of DSP, and you can get two out of a six by six piece of DSP. So it's it cuts nicely out of uh, DSP. Two, it's a great way to showcase designer series paper, which I think is really fun. And um, also, it works with so, so, so many patterns of paper. It's a great way to kind of bring in the coordinating colors and all of that. So it's a really great, um, it's just a really great size and, and layout of card. All right, so I've got these two done. Then what I'm going to do is I've got this strip. And I, this is about a half inch strip. This is leftover from my various stamping uh, or I'm sorry paper cutting like when I cut four by five and a quarter inch panels of cardstock that's a leftover piece now I was thinking let's see our other card so I am going to use happy birthday on one of our cards um, I was thinking either congratulations or happy anniversary would be good and then we could use either a million thanks or speedy recovery on our other card so how does that sound I'm thinking happy Happy anniversary. Congratulations is always good too. Um, the reason I love the um, happy anniversary is because I have an anniversary coming up and I will be all set. Um, I also love using this for Stampin' Up! anniversaries because I like to um, acknowledge my team's Stampin', an Stampin Up! anniversaries. Um, so I'm going to stamp this on here. And you can do either Berry Burst, or I'm sorry, it's Poppy Parade, the red color, a contrasting color, or Azure Afternoon. I think I'm going to stick with the Azure. And I'm just going to stamp this on here. And this is going to go pretty much all the way across. <clears throat> like that it really it takes up that whole length of the card which is kind of fun um and then I'll pop it up because we haven't popped anything up yet on this card and I don't want to say I'm getting a little twitchy but I am popping up things on cards is really important in my personal preference or my personal opinion but also my preference 
<laughs> okay, so I'll just put some dimensionals on here, like so, and then I'll tack that down. Oh, so cute. Okay, look at how fun that is. Now, I personally also like kind of dressing things up a little bit. Um, so, of course, we're going to embellish. Uh, we've got these, I like the blue dots, um, but really any of these dots will work. They all actually coordinate with this paper, which is kind of fun. Maybe not exactly these ones up here because they're lemon lime twist, but certainly the rest do. I think I'm going to stick with the blue, though. Um, but what happened to... Ah your pick tool. I'm just so close to being out of the tacky stuff and I'm ready to switch to the replacement <laughs> but I'm just not quite there yet. There's still a little left. So I always like to twist it, let a little come out and then loosen it up so it doesn't go pew, like a toothpaste tube. It's happened. It's not pretty guys. I can't lie. Not pretty at all. Oops. Okay, so there's a couple of dots, and there we go. Now, you could finish this off if you wanted. Um, I think I might add a little... I might add a little twine. Just because I can, you know? So this is technically sweet sorbet twine. It's from the um, In Color Twine Pack. But I'll find, you'll find that it goes, it coordinates with lots of colors. So nobody's going to say, wow, you used sweet sorbet twine and your cardstock color is pear or poppy parade. I knew it started with a P. <laughs> Shame on you, right? No, they're never, ever, ever going to say that. They're going to be like, wow, look at how cool that is. So I'm just going to add a little bow to this to take it up one additional notch. Boom, there we go. Um, I wasn't actually planning on it, but I feel like this just works. Sometimes the spirit moves me, the art, the arts and crafts crafting spirits. E kidding. Sometimes you just know. Okay, there you go. So how fun is that? It's just a simple and lovely card. Okay, so there you go. That's our first card. Super simple and easy. Our next card is a really fun one. And what I love about this is it 100% could be for a boy or a girl on your list. This is going to be our birthday card. So I'm going to start with a crumb cake card base. And you could also do this in white. Um, but I thought the crumb cake kind of made it... A little bit more masculine if that's what you wanted it for um, but it could totally be not masculine too okay so we've got our half sheet of crumb cake cardstock then I've got a four by five and a quarter basic white or at least I think that's what this is four by five and a quarter basic white and a three and seven eighths by five and an eighth uh, crumb cake then I've taken three pieces of cardstock I've got um, Tahitian Tide, Lemon Lime Twist, and Daffodil Delight. Now these colors I chose specifically because they are both kind of springy colors, but then they're also kind of could go to, to the masculine side of things or stay on the feminine side of things. So I've got those three colors. Now we're going to make little packages out of them. And you've probably done this before. It's not like some groundbreaking, earth-shattering, new, fabula fabulous technique. But here's what I think is. This piece of white we're going to use, and I'm actually going to start at the top. It's about the width of my top piece, which is two inches, and I'm going to just adhere that to there. Then next, I'm going to center my middle-sized piece. Note that I embossed these all together, so the embossing kind of stays, the pattern stays together, which is pretty cool. And then we'll do our third piece, which is um, the Tahitian Tide. And so our little stack of presents is all together and kind of perfect. 
Now, I mentioned that twine. We're going to use that on here. And so I'm going to wrap my packages. Now, here's what makes this so handy is I can tie all of these together and this little piece will give me kind of the sturdy backing to allow me to tie um, a present, like to wrap these presents up all together, where a, you know, if I just did these individual pieces and adhered them to my card, it's so much trickier. You got to like, remember to put the twine underneath and then you got to get it all on there. And sometimes that's tricky. Right. So I thought this was kind of a brilliant little um, tip to put that little strip of white behind these packages. Now you maybe have done this for birthdays, maybe for Christmas presents, whatever. It's just kind of a fun technique. And then look at that bow at the top. It's perfect. So much easier. And then, of course, we can pop all the presents up. Yay! I love that, of course. All right. So I'm going to stamp my happy birthday. And um, actually, I think I'm going to use a little scrap for that. Um, so I'll go ahead and adhere these two pieces. I thought it would be kind of fun to have a little pop of white. You could certainly do a color, but I liked the white because it kind of just toned everything to sort of a neutral look. But if you did a color... Um, you could maybe choose a color that goes with whoever the recipient is of this. And of course, if you wanted to change this up and make it more feminine, you could do some really cute colors that were like pinks and oranges um, and yellow or, you know, purples. So the crumb cake makes it really easy to kind of um, personalize to your recipient. But I like this. This is the kind of card I would probably make up and have several of them on hand. So if I needed a quick birthday card, I would have some masculine ones. I would have some feminine ones. Um, if you wanted it, it to be even more masculine, you could choose. I think this card can go either way. Um, but if you wanted it to be a little bit more masculine, you could use colors like Knight of Navy, Copper Clay, and um, Crushed Curry or Cajun Craze, you know, any of those colors would be nice. Knight of Navy Early Espresso and um, maybe Boho Blue or Misty Moonlight or Real Red, Cherry Cobbler, you know, any of those colors. Cajun Craze would still look good with that selection. So lots and lots and lots of options for colors. Okay, so there we go. That is going to fill up most of our card front. And then for my sentiment, like I said, I'm going to use the happy birthday. So for that, I'm going to grab a wider strip of cardstock. Um, this is about three quarters of an inch. And I want it to fit um, on this piece of Tahitian Tide. This is three inches wide, so I want this to be maybe two and three quarters inch. So I'm going to quick trim this. Just as soon as I find my trimmer. Oh, I'm going to put it away. Yes, I did. I like using my trimmer to cut this piece just because then I know for sure it is um, the right, uh, it's squared off and it's the right width. Okay. So I will stamp that in Azure Afternoon. You could use Tahitian Tide, or I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> going to stamp it in Tahitian Tide because that's the color that coordinates. La la la, here we go, let's clean this quick. I was saying, I was doing the, I was saying the right words, but doing the wrong thing or something to that effect. <laughs> Okay, it's, I mean, those colors are close. And actually, I probably could have gotten away with using Azure. But since this is the coordinating color, let's just go for it. All right, so this is Happy Birthday. Now, I would also say that you could make this card with, um, and then we'll just pop this up right here. You could also make this card with the um, Drizzling Droplets background stamp which we're going to use on the next card and that would be kind of fun too so you can you can choose whatever floats your boat so 
So I'll just pop this up on top. And like I said, I love the happy birthday. It's super fun. And this is just such a cute card. Okay. Of course, embellishments will make it cuter. Now, if this was for a man, I would probably switch out my the dots that I'm about to put on here with something a little bit more manly, like the cork rounds or the brushed metallic dots instead of these tinsel dots, just because that they're, you know, let's be honest, tinsel's a little girly. <laughs> but it's really up to you and whatever you would like to do. So I just kind of like putting a couple on like this. You can certainly add more, but... I think that is just a super fun, easy card. So um, this is really a fun. Okay. Oh, yes. Anna says it looks like a birthday cake. It totally does. In fact, if you wanted to make it look more birthday cakey, you could round the corners of uh, the top portion right here, and that would make it look um, a little bit more birth birthday cakey, but yes, that totally would work as well. So either one, and of course the the sentiment works. Now you could use you know whatever sentiment you want, a congratulations maybe. So if it's a different type of celebration, that would work as well. But yeah, yeah. So if you wanted to make um make it a birthday cake, just take and round the corners. This is not a punch that rounds corners. Um, if you don't have a corner rounder, by the way, you can do this where you take a circle punch and just throw the corner in your circle punch and that will round the corners. How's that for a handy little tip? Oh, love it. Okay, so there you go. All right, now our third card. Ooh, we're moving right along today. Our third card is a really fun one. As I mentioned, we're going to use the um, Drizzling Droplets background stamp. Now, I went back and forth on this, but I ultimately ended up on another crumb cake card. <clears throat> Part of why I chose the crumb cake card is it sort of toned down the other colors that are in this card, and you'll see here in just a minute why I say that, um, but it's really fun. I'm also using a little fun um, set of dies that you can get if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. These dies coordinate with the upcoming three months worth of kits. I think it's April, May, and June. Um, it's called Thanks and Beyond Dies, and it's just this little set. I want to say it was $12, but I can't remember exactly. Um, you do have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber to get them. Um, and if you're not, you can just, I think, I think you could sign up for a subscription, order them, and then cancel your subscription. But the next box looks amazing. So if you're not subscribed, I think you should be. Okay, I'm done with my little plot on that. <laughs> so I die cut this little label and the butterfly solid. Then the, the detail butterfly comes like this. So what I'm going to do is just snip it out of the paper of course, you could die cut these together and then you would have, you know, a die cut that would um, be kind of fun. But I'm going to show you why I did it this way. Well, first of all, I wanted the two contrasting colors, which I mean, obviously. Um, but what you could also do, well, there's a lot of things you could do with that. I'm not going to dwell on that. But instead, what I'm going to show you is how we're going to put this together to make a super cute um, butterfly. Okay, so I've got that on there like so. And then I'm going to take some of my, ooh, here it is. This is from a ribbon combo pack, and this is like a lemon lime twist. And I'm going to put basically just a little piece of this ribbon through the center and then I'm going to have the other end hang up. I want my sharp ribbon scissors for this to create the antenna. And how cool is that? So I've just got that on there like so. And we'll just aff affix everything with mini glue dots, which are really, I feel, God's gift to crafters. <laughs> right? 
<laughs> he said, let there be mini glue dots. Okay, I kid, but seriously, they're pretty awesome. And then I'm going to put one more mini glue dot. You know, I used to be so annoyed with the fact that they switched them to the, the dots being on the dispenser. Like, not on the roll, but on the the paper. But actually, I find it to be decidedly convenient. So look at how cute that is. Seriously. Okay, so then, of course, we can make our little butterfly kind of dimensional. And then we're going to put him on here. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside for just a moment because the next part is we're going to do our stamping. Now, as mentioned, we're going to use that background stamp, which is the um, drizzling droplets. So I'm going to take and ink this up in Lemon Lime Twist, which is my lighter color. And by the way, I went through several versions of this card before I decided on this one. Um, the first version was actually a Lemon Lolly card, but I did not like how it looked. So it was a little bright. <laughs> Lemon Lolly is a color I've been slowly warming up to, but this in this case, it was just a little much. So I opted for this slightly less intense version. Um, and I'm just going to throw a piece of paper on here and then I'm gonna stamp this. Now I wanna leave a little room at the bottom um, so that I can stamp my sentiment. So I'm scooching my background stamp up just a little bit and I'm standing up and pressing down on here. Ugh. You're welcome for the sound it helps if you make sounds <laughs> okay and there ha ha we have the background isn't that pretty it's just such a cute design so that was um lemon lime twist ink on my lemon lime twist cardstock and then once again i'm going to use my sentiment from the sweetly scripted stamp set Again, that's an online exclusive one. And I think for this one, um, should we do Speedy Recovery? I feel like this card is kind of a Speedy Recovery card. I haven't used the Speedy Recovery stamp yet. So let's take a peel off of that and throw it on our block. Okay, so we're going to ink that in Lemon Lime Twist as well. Oh, how glorious that they gave us Lemon Lime Twist back. Weren't you guys excited? That happened about a year ago when we found out about that. Oh, so fun. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this right here. All right. And then we're going to layer it to a Granny Apple Green layer. Now, if you are a Stamp Happy Academy Premium or Live Only subscriber you might recognize this color combination because it was one I did um, I think some of the most awesome cards in a while <laughs> from this last month's live um, I still am kind of pretty geeky excited about how much I loved those cards okay so I'm going to adhere this to my crumb cake card base like I said you could do white on this but it I feel like the crumb cake just kind of toned everything down a little bit, which was a good thing, if you know what I'm saying. All right, I'm going to pop up my little label here. Again, these are from those um, paper pumpkin dies. And if you don't, if you're not a paper pumpkin subscriber, don't worry. These will come in the little card kit you can get for free. The pieces that I we will die cut them for you. So it's like the easy button big time. Okay, so don't you think this little butterfly just screams get well? I feel like it does. It's just so stinking cute. Okay, so I'm going to adhere this. I'll probably use glue dots for that, to be honest, because I think it'll do a good job adhering everything. And then we'll place this on our little label, which I'm pretty sure I just stuck on here crooked. I do that in videos. I struggle with getting stuff on straight. So my camera like interferes with my ability to see straight or something. But look at how cute that is. It's just so sweet. So I love this one. All right. 
Um, now, uh, we, of course, can embellish this one. And I was thinking, just got to find my dots here. I was thinking that we could do a pink couple of dots in the center here. So like a little one uh, and a big one kind of on the body of our little thing. And the dots just like totally go with the dots, if you know what I'm saying. I love that. So there you go. That's our third card. It was kind of short and sweet, but I love it. Now, I usually have a little more time left. Um, does anybody want to see some of the new catalog pre-order items? Because I have my pre-order stuff. I could share you, share with you them. Just let me know. Is the Sweetly Scripted in stock? It sure is, Fran. Is the paper per subscription totally separate from my current account? Um, if you want to... So, so, yes. Um, but soon it won't be, if that helps. <laughs> um, yes, it is separate. So you would go to paperpumpkin.com. Um, and, of course, you could subscribe through me. That would be lovely. But yeah, okay, so I'm going to go grab my paper pumpkin, or what am I saying? I'm going to grab my um, pre-order basket. It's just right behind me, so just give me a couple seconds. I, I'll close these ink pads quick, though, too. Um, Jennifer's asking if there are any join specials. There are not this month, but there is a join special next month. I have no idea what it is. They have not told us. They just said that there's going to be one. So it's kind of like you balance out what you want. So if you want a pre-order, you want a, a starter kit with the pre-order items tomorrow, you can do that. Um, or you can wait until May and see what the offer is. It, you know, it could be fabulous or it could be sucky. I don't know. Um, but there's, there, yeah. And having just said that, I'm not supposed to, I'm not sure if I was supposed to tell you that. <gasps> That's bad. But there you go, all the information. Okay. <laughs> all right, so let's look at the pre-order items. <laughs> Don't get me in trouble. <clears throat> okay. So, of course, I showed you um, the in colors, I think, last time. They're so pretty. Uh, I'll just throw the packages of paper here um, really quick. Oops, I already got that one. Okay, so our new in colors are Shy Shamrock, Pretty in Pink, which is actually a color we used to have many years ago, Petunia Pop, Peach Pie, so excited for that, and Summer Splash. I am really excited about Summer Splash. It's very similar to Coastal Cabana, but it's different. Similar yet different. Um, let me grab a piece of Coastal Cabana just so you can see. So I feel like this is a more vibrant color and Coastal Cabana is a little bit more subtle color, you know, whatever. Oh, funny. Here's my little sample. But anyway, um, and then we also have a new color called Basic Beige. This is, um, it's, uh, I don't know how to describe it really. Um, I don't have a piece of Sahara sand handy. This, for contrast purposes, this is gray granite. Um, this is crumb cake. So you can see, you know, it's certainly different. It's very light, but not vanilla, <laughs> for lack of a better way to describe it. Um, light, but not vanilla. You're welcome for that description. Okay, so our ink pads, markers, blends. Um, there is ribbon in all of those colors coming as well. This is called... 
um, bordered ribbon, which is really nice. It's got stitching in that same color on the edges. And then of course the in color markers and the in color blends, all new, which is cool because we've not had a uh, Coastal Cabana blend. So this will be kind of fun. All right. There are also these uh, in-color shimmer gems, which, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about them. Okay, so these are in all the in-colors, and they're glorious. Then we have, um, this is interesting, and I think this has surprised a few people. <laughs> we'll see what you think. We have two new embossing folders they're huge. Okay, so this is a regular one. This is a 3D one, and they're really big. <laughs> so here is a six by six folder for comparison. Like, what? So these are like six by eight, I'd say. I mean, they're big. So big. Oh my gosh. Um, so these are really cool. So we've got the So Swirly and the Dotted Circles. So these are going to be a lot of fun to play with. Um, we also have some new bundles. So here I've got the In the Groove. Now this kind of, or In the Grove. <laughs> groove, Grove, you know, whatever. It's late. <laughs> All right, in the Grove. It's like the grassy Grove kind of stamp set, but the dies are different and they're really fun. Okay, so we've got like a tree line. We've got some birch trees. We've got the mountains. There's a cute little bunny and a little fox and a little, I don't know, that looks like a chipmunk. So cute little woodland creatures to go with this. I think this will be a great, um, a great stamp set or bundle. Um, then we've got the loveliest tree. So there's one large tree and then some kind of basic sentiments. If you're a new stamper, I think this will be lovely. If you want just a simple set for masculine cards, this is another really good one. It's a pretty inexpensive uh, bundle as well, which is nice. And then there's the coordinating dies. So we've got some leaves, kind of uh, like the greenery to go on top of this tree, the outline of this, and then um, the, out, the cutout of those leaves. So a nice, simple bundle here. Um, ooh, this is really pretty. This is the Layers of Beauty stamp set. And it has um, one of those gorgeous, large floral images and then there's coordinating dies to die cut and then there's also the layers of beauty stencils pardon me decorative masks um, that will coordinate with this so you can color them with ink or you can color these in with like look at that um, with watercolor, of course, that's my favorite, or you can color them in with um, ink blending, you know, whatever you want. So this, this will be really cool. If you recall, I did a video on that, I think actually last week. So very nice. And um, it's just such a pretty, a pretty look, I think. All right. Next up is a stamp set called Simply Said, and I think that's it. It's just super simple sentiments, really nice looking set. Then we've got, I don't think there's anything that goes with that. Um, then we've got the Seaside Wishes bundle. This one is super cool. So we've got these beautiful Seaside Wishes elements, the sand dollars and the... Um, starfish and then it has the hybrid embossing folder to go with it um, or die cuts I should say 
well, folder and, well, blah, 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 blah. here, let me just show you. Okay, so there's a folder and die. So we've got the embossing folder and then the die cut. So you can die cut embossed images is what I'm trying to say, but it, the words sure aren't coming out like that. So this will fit in the die and then you can die cut these pieces. And then of course there's little coordinating images that go with it. I think this is gonna be lovely. Um, it's really nice. I I've always loved sand dollars, so I'm excited that there's a, a hybrid folder for that. Then we've got this set, which is so cute. It's called Hearts and Hugs, and it's just got these cutie patootie little um, creatures, we'll say, in it. I think there's some conjecture as to whether this is like a, um, a hamster or maybe... It could be a squirrel from the front. I don't know, but that's a mouse. Maybe a chinchilla. I don't know. I'm not sure. It could be a lot of different things. And then this is um, a badger, hugging badgers, which is kind of funny because if what I know of badgers is they are very vicious and mean. You wouldn't catch them hugging so often. So I think that's quite hysterical. Um, oh, the Iowa women's basketball game. Yes. Yes, Patricia, you do need to watch. It's so exciting. Oh, my goodness. We have our little phenom, Caitlin Clark, that goes to Iowa. Carl was really hoping she would, like, stay another year, but she's not. She's going on to bigger things. <laughs> All right. So then the there's dies that coordinate with this set as well. So they cut out the things, and then there's some cute little hearts and some different elements, which are very fun. I love that they did this. You guys are going to love this. So these are the... Um, stems and then there's flowers that coordinate there's kind of a instead of the stem just being you know straight and cutting off there's basically a glue dot spot on here so that you can glue dot the flowers to the stems so I thought that was kind of brilliant that they did that okay then we have the under the moon stamp set which I believe is just a standalone stamp set which is kind of cool and funky it's got dolphins, so you can't go wrong there. Looking forward to that. Then this is one of my favorites. This is the Flowers of, or no, this is not it, but actually I do like this one. This is Flowers of Beauty. You can't go wrong with flowers, of course. Um, here are the dies, and they're really pretty. They've they, I think, are going to make the set really versatile. So, of course, they cut out the images. Um, and I love these are like simple two-step stamping types of sets. So that's going to be really fun. But then this one is my favorite. This is the, sorry, Thoughtful Wishes. And the reason I say it's my favorite is because it's my friend Lori's Million Dollar Stamp Set. So... I'm excited about that. Now these dies are gorgeous. And then wait till I show you the stuff that coordinates with them. I have not been showing you all the things, but it's hard to keep it all straight in my head still, especially because I can't do it by catalog page. But all these dies are really beautiful that coordinate with this set. And this is gonna be another good watercoloring one without having to have a lot of watercoloring skills. So I think that's pretty cool. Sorry, I'll move this down a little further. So you can see tons of dies in the dies, but here's where this set gets really, really interesting is the Thoughtful Journey Designer Series paper. Oh, it's so good. Um, so somebody just said I got a bunch. I did. Remember, remember, this is my full-time job. So yes, I did get a lot. I didn't, I don't think I got everything, but I did get quite a bit of the order okay are you guys ready for this paper you guys oh, it's so pretty i'll just pull it out of the thing entirely so it's got gorgeous watercolored looks on both sides i think this is going to go really nice with that very first set i showed you um called what is it called in the grove but look at that it's so pretty and it's watercolory, which, I mean, y'all knew I was going to love that. So gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that fun? 
so, 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 so pretty. I want to try to watercolor the paper, <laughs> like make the paper out of watercoloring is what I guess I mean. But super fun. Look at that. Oh, so gorgeous. So this is really cool. There's also, oh, I don't have my 12 by 12 handy. My 12 by 12 is uh, far away from my reach. Sorry. There's also 12 by 12 that coordinates with it. Okay. Next up, let's see. I've got a couple more bundles. Um, I think this is called Unbounded Love. So there's a stamp set of words. And then there is a die set that coordinates with it that has all these um, labels and whatnot that coordinate with the Unbounded Love, which is pretty cool. Then we've got the Country Flowers dies and stamp set. I really like this. Another good set for watercoloring or stamp and blend coloring. Um, and the dies that go with that look like this. So you can die cut the pieces, but then there's also some like flowers and leafy elements that you can build a pot and stuff on a table. And then the last bundle I have is the Adventurous Skies Bundle. And this is a really great masculine set with the airplane. The dies on this are really cool as well. Um, you can have a plane flying that has like a banner hanging behind it. So that'll make for some fun card making, I'm sure. So like the banner that gets pulled behind the airplane, you know, that kind of thing. And then some clouds. So you can both build an airplane or you can um, die cut the stamped airplanes, which is pretty cool. And there's neat little um, elements. They're called industrial trinkets that go with this. And they sort of look like the rivets on, well, not exactly the rivets, but they look, well, industrial I guess this side looks like a rivet and then one side's plain and one side's sort of fancy. I'm not sure exactly which side is supposed to be adhered, to be honest. I feel like this side is actually the intended side that's up. And then this side is got the texture in it to hold on to the glue dot that you would ad ad adhere it to or the maybe glue. But anyway, these are really neat little elements called industrial trinkets. There's DSP that coordinates with this. Um, here is the in color DSP. So this is what all the color family DSPs will look like. So here we've got pretty in pink and the two patterns. So there's one side, two sided stripes. This is kind of just like a cool little geometric -y pattern and then circles on the other side. So I, I really like the patterns this year. So then we've got peach pie, shamrock sky, is that right? Petunia pop and summer splash. So, oh, this does look like summer splash. Lovely paper. Then there's kind of a new line called mix and match. And um, there's all these different elements and this is definitely geared towards more of a beginner crafter, but um, I think they're pretty cool. So there's cards and envelopes. There's a couple different styles of cards and envelopes. This one's a little more classic. This one's a little more funky. And then there's all these little pieces that go that you can use together. There's die cuts, um, tags like elements and then sentiments. So really kind of fun. And I don't know if die cuts are the right words for this. Maybe laser cuts. You get what I'm saying. But let's just crack one of these open. So this one is called Saying Something an Ephemera Pack. And let's pull out. I mean, there's like a lot in here. So you can make quite a few cards. So there's one, two of that sheet. Then there's two of this sheet. Good luck today. Congrats, celebrate, hip hip hooray, birthday, wishes. Then there's two sheets of this one, which say other words. <laughs> and then there's two sheets of this one, which have even more words. So you can kind of mix and match some of these. But um, I love this. You make life ro so rosy. That's kind of fun. So I think these are going to be a lot of fun to play with. 
And then you can just like the idea is you can mix and match these with the cards and then the pre the die cut pieces. So let's cut this flower one open because it's really pretty. We got to play with these a little bit at on stage, and I really liked the look of them. Um, because they're they're like if you need a quick and easy card that you want to make, but you don't have time to do something fancy pants. Oh, so pretty. So these are beautiful pieces that are just easy to pop out. Look at all those gorgeous flowers. And there's kind of black and white ones. So you could color these in with like Stampin' Blends. There's pre-colored ones. There's greenery pieces. There's, you know, all, all the things that you would need. You can mix and match all of these. You can, you know, add one of those cool word strips over the top. So lots, lots and lots of options. And then there's a couple more packs. I won't open those, but you get the idea. There's also um, memory and more card packs that are kind of like the same thing we've had before. Um, and then embellishments. Okay, so we got to, there's a ribbon combo pack, petal pink and white quarter inch trim. It's got a little bit of a diagonal texture to it. So those are really nice. Then we've got some in color resin dots for the new in colors. We've got, uh, these are adhesive backed tr pearl trio. So those are pretty. And these are really pretty too. These are basic gray and smoky slate pearls. So gorgeous. And then I showed you the shimmer dots. And I think that is it. Like I said, there's DSP that coordinates with all this 12 by 12. I just don't have it handy to grab really quick for our video. Um, and I know I have a hungry couple of boys upstairs that I need to feed. So anyway, I just wanted to share all that with you again. Um, if you would like a fun little treat in your mailbox next week, please place an order in my online store and we will send you the card kit for these three really fun cards. Don't forget, this is our card challenge. So create a card using this layout your choice of colors and papers and you will be entered into a drawing you have all month long to participate in this this is our april challenge and we will see you all soon guys thank you so much for stamping with me today i will be back next week Bye bye oops <laughs>